Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Chris. Snag gets used by millions of people around the world in every imaginable role and industry. With this update, we added some things that really address some significant pain points felt by people in three particular areas. First is technical communicators who wrestle with the cost to localize, update, and maintain content at scale. Secondly, we also address some issues that uh, software testers have talked about, which is being able to very efficiently capture screenshots that document uh, issues or bugs and include some system information along with those. And finally, we've tackled this really difficult problem of, of uh, keeping branding and colors consistent in your markup across teams in an organization. Everyone has a style guide, nobody uses it. That's a problem and we have an idea for how to fix it. So now I'll jump into Snag and show you exactly what we were talking about. So as Daniel mentioned, one of the biggest problems facing technical communicators is staying up to date with ever-changing content and apps. So in this case, uh, my development team and I, we need to change the order of a couple of the headlines here, the headers, um, and I also need to remove this object from this image. So I'm going to do that now. I'm using the selection tool and I'm going to have autofill turned on, which is a new um, aspect that's going to change the background immediately when I move my selection. So what it's doing is it's replacing it and I don't have to select and find the fill tool, use my eyedropper to find the exact shade of gray. I can swap these easily and right now I have some working documentation that I could send along. But I also wanted to be able to change, um, remove this little um, tag here on this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to click and drag and select this area and then when I hit the delete button it'll autofill in uh, the rest. So along the same lines what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magic wand I'm going to uh, select this header up here with global color selection turned on that means it's going to select not just where I click and around that but within the characters themselves so inside the D here um, I'm going to select that same color go over to the fill tool you notice I still have my selection now I have this lighter shade of blue and I'm going to give that a shot and hit Control D to deselect, and I can kind of see what that would look like just for mock-up purposes. So another real challenge we've heard a lot from technical communicators is around localization. Some have to localize their content into two, five, even 20 languages. And so that can put a lot of pressure on those teams not to have captions and text callouts on those images, even though it would be helpful to explain the content. So we took a crack at, at helping address that problem as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three captures. I'm going to export them for translation. I'm going to get this file, an XLIF, and I'm going to send them off to my translator. When I get them back, I'm going to re-import them into Snagit. And then it's going to create three new files for me that's going to have the same background, but that text is going to be translated now into the language that I desired. To help software testers be more efficient with their time, we've created the capture info effect. So I turn that on, and now you can see what it did is it took the URL of the Internet Explorer browser, it gives me the version number of that, gives me the date, time, and the operating system I'm on, so that the software developer that I send this to can see the bug, as I pointed out here, and also have an accurate way to reproduce that bug as well. People want to stay on brand, but it's hard. We've created a way for them to do it and snag it. I can create a new theme, give it a name, and then choose some colors from this brand manual. And it's that easy. As soon as I hit create, we've switched to that, that theme, and you can see that the, all those arrows are using the same color, those colors that I chose from my brand guidelines. And I'll also carry over to all the other tools here. I can choose our callouts and also use those same colors. And once that work is done, I can easily export those. And I'll export a file called um, the name of, with the name of your theme. And I can send those off to my coworkers. And all I have to do is double click on that and it'll be available to them. So lots of good stuff in this minor update and more to come. Some of the future problems that interest us are things around uh, making screen content more easily updatable so that you can make small changes to reflect when you know the UI changes or you need to make a mock-up. Uh, we want to also further reduce the cost of, 
of updating and localizing screenshots in your documentation. And finally, we think there's a lot more uh, interesting work to do around helping teams stay consistent in their style and markup. So we have an eye on that and we'll look forward to seeing how you guys use those, that functionality. We're also very committed to improving the features that we've already put out there. So all the incremental improvements that we've put in here are from you and the feedback that we've gotten from our users and customers. Let's continue the conversation at feedback.techsmith.com. Thank you.